Hello everyone and welcome back to Stephen Mayo. This one's coming at you kind of late, we understand, but uh, this is everything that we got in December. So there's going to be a lot of Christmas stuff, which probably would have done a little better coming out closer to the beginning of January than the end of January, but we, we did what we can. We got pretty pretty nice size mail video today, lots of letters. Um, we have a, a nice little group of letters from the Minecraft fan server. And we have a lot of packages as well, more packages than we've had in a long time. Let's get started. The first letter we have is from Carrie, and Carrie says, Mallory and Steven, due to my semi-compulsive nature, I originally wanted to complete the journey before writing a letter. However, eagerness got the better of me, and I just had to write, despite being literally 12 episodes away from completion. I just wanted to thank the two of you for providing me with countless hours of entertainment through both the vlogs and LPs. I'm continually amazed at the level of dedication put forth by Steven to create as much content as in humanly possible, and the extra effort from Mao in addition to her full-time teaching. Best of luck with all future endeavors from Carrie. Thank you very much, Carrie. And Carrie also includes a thousand blank white card that says deal with it. And it's plus 1,000 points and it says people on the street make snide comments about your narcissistic hobby. You point out that you make cash money from it and they can suck it. <laughs> Gary, thank you so much for the letter. Next up we have a Christmas card, a very pretty Christmas card. It's got some... It's cute. It's It's got some dogs on it drinking tea. But, or water, I guess. From the, the tree basin for oh, a fresh Christmas tree. Oh, because fresh Christmas trees Need water is a to thing. live. Yeah, anyway, well, this is actually from our good friend Sarah. She writes, uh, Hey, you two, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season in 2013. I'm certain it's been busy. Don't forget to take time to yourselves. Wishing you all the best now. Moving into 2014. And as always, take care from Sarah, uh, who is an old friend of ours from Starman.net. We have lots of, of friends from Starman.net, and it was really sweet of her to actually send us a Christmas card. You know card what's and really interesting? Yeah. She goes to college with someone I student taught, and they're friends, and they hang out sometimes. Really? Mm hmm. That's one of them small world moments, yes, it isn't is. it? <laughs> Next up, we have another Christmas card. Once again, very, very pretty art from Lisa. And it says, Mao, just want you to know that by watching the vlogs, I have found that it is okay to follow your dreams. I will be going to school to become an art teacher. Thank you for inspiring me. Both of you are wonderful people. Uh, then it also says, um, hope that the new year is full of good health and happiness for you and your family. With Wisconsin love, Lisa. And PSS, say hi to the kitties for me. Well, Lisa, thank you very much for the Christmas card. We appreciate it. Good luck. Next up, we have a letter from Monica. It says, Dear Stephen Amell and kitties, I just loved watching The Last of Us Let's Play and the finale was awesome. Awesome. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. A lot of other people seem to enjoy it as well. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. And Stephen, hope you feel better with your chest pain very soon. Love, Monica. Oh, and P.S. I've learned how to play the Super Mario Sunshine theme song, Delphina Plaza, on the guitar, which is awesome. That would actually be kind of neat to do a cover of. Mm -hmm. Like, do do It'd be a cool duet. This might work out. Anyway, Monica, thank you for the leather. Next up, we have a leather from Josh, and he says, "My name is Josh, and I am 14. Uh, I had a cat uh, named Shadow, but he passed away last February. So I like your cats because they remind me of him. I hope you like the Charizard that I drew for you. Very, very nice Charizard. Thank you, Josh. And says, "Thanks for all the entertainment that you guys put out there." From Josh. Thank you very much for the letter. The next letter did not have a return address, and there's actually no name on the inside, but it's just a simple piece of art that says, Hey, Stephen and Mao, I drew this for you. Sorry for the short letter. P.S. I'm 11. Herp, skirp, derp. And it's a picture of presumably Link, because Link is the herp, skirp, derp master. People have been asking if Link's going to return. People, Someday. People want to know if there's going to be Skyward Sword. And my answer to that is... Just keep waiting. Next up, we have a letter from Tim, who says, Dear Stephen Amau, it's me again, Timothy or Tim Forsyth 89 on YouTube. I want to say Merry Christmas. For your Christmas present, here is a 4 gig flash drive that I lost three years ago and found it last year after it survived cold, rain, heat, and snow. In the envelope are possibly the world's smallest presents for you two. Sincerely, Tim. And there was some interesting stuff in here. First off, we have, uh, we have a signed land. But then we also have a great myriad of uh, magic cards. And then there are two incredibly small gifts 
there is like a little hair clip thing who's very very tiny and then there's this little like eagle statuette thingamabob which is in a color that I really like it's actually the color of my Nintendo DS I don't know if people know I have that there's a there was like a Mother's Day edition Nintendo DS and I was like that color sweet so I bought it uh, this is a long time ago and then here is the thumb drive and in the note it says this flash drive has Super Saiyan 3 Pikachu and needs to be on the vlog so fans could get a kick out of it so I'm gonna take that off of the drive and show it on screen now that is the picture that was on the drive and Tim Thank you very much for sending it in. Next up we have a letter from Tony, uh, who is from Holland, and there's a letter in here, but there's also a little card, which is really cute. It says, Merry Christmas, and inside he wrote, I like the hat on his butt. <laughs> I like the hat on his butt too, to so. To be fair, that was the first thing I noticed. Really? <laughs> uh, is, is, it's like kind of a pop-out card, like his head is on a little bit, so that's the first thing I noticed. And his, his nose is like felt or something. Um, anyway, to the letter. Hiya! Uh, I've wanted to send you a letter for a while now, and Christmas slash New Year seemed like a good moment. Uh, my name is Tony, I'm currently 20 years old, live in the Netherlands, and I go to college for software engineering slash computer science. I've been watching your vlogs and let's plays for a little while now, and I really enjoy them. Like most people, I found you through Chugga, but it wasn't your vlogs. Uh, it was through his Pikmin 2 multiplayer video. You seem like a funny guy, and I was right. There's been, I think, now a handful of people that have actually mailed us Leathers that have said mm -hmm. that they found us through that Pikmin 2 video, so that was a really great video. <laughs> we should do more Pikmin 2 videos. Uh, it's amazing how you're willing to share every day of your life with the whole world, and I hope you keep making videos for many years to come. One question. Do you get bummed out that Mallory's name is easily shortened to Mal, but your name can't really be shortened? Then again, you're a tall guy, so I guess it's appropriate for you to have a long name. <laughs> That's a funny reasoning. Um, no, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, you have a three-syllable name. Yes. It gets shortened to one. So I just get to live in the center with two syllables. Because mm -hmm. it can be shortened to Steve, but I don't like being called Steve because Steve's my father. Even though he's actually Steven, but he was always called Steve. But I'm Steven, so that's how we keep it straight. I don't know. Whenever I was younger, people actually called me Steve-O, but that's not any less syllables. Yeah. And also, I hate that name, so... Hey, we'll, Steve-O. Yeah, that's not something I, I really enjoy. Anyway, um, also, I have a question for Mal. Have you ever had a student who watches the vlogs or the Let's Plays? So far, no. Yeah, and we get... I mean, no one said anything. Yeah, and we, I mean, we get asked this from, you know, from time to time, but so far... Nothing yet, but it could happen. Uh, anyway, you inspired me to make vlogs, not to become popular on YouTube or anything, but to have those moments of my life immortalized. Keep being awesome, both of you. Cheers, Tony. Tony, thank you for the very uh, very nice letter. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always cool to hear other people that start vlogging. And uh, you can't really do it for fame and fortune, just for the fact that the internet is such a very fickle place and you have no idea if you would if you're going to you know get the subscribers etc but to do it to immortalize those events in your life is great mm -hmm. i mean it's it's awesome being able to go back four years in the past i mean i know that the viewers appreciate that but i get a huge kick out of that and my parents too my mom frequently goes back and watches old vlogs you know this spring you'll be graduated for three years wow and that's on the vlog Man, time really flies. Next up we have a leather, well actually a Christmas card from Jen, who sends a card of a very cute little kitty. And inside it says, hope the holidays find you up to your whiskers and fun. I love cats. I have like, I, I, I know that it's, I don't know if it's a cliche or thing or whatever, but when I see pictures of kittens, like I actually have one of those little hearty melt things. Oh, It's true. Anyway, I really hope 2014 finds you all in better health and plenty of happiness. Here's to another year of Let's Plays and Vlogs. See you at PAX from Jen. We actually did. We uh, got a chance to meet Jen uh, last PAX East. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like she'll be there again. So Jen, we look forward to seeing you again. Next up we have a letter from Jeremy who says, Hello again, my name is Jeremy and I've actually sent you a letter before back when you still numbered the mail videos. Um, I recently started my YouTube channel and I just finished a Let's Play on Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy, and I'm currently doing Sonic Generations. Now since I just started my channel, I don't really have any viewers, but I remember you telling me to work with other Let's Players. My question is, how exactly do I ask them? 
What Jeremy's talking about is a lot of times when people come to me and ask for advice on growing their channels, I tell them to network. In other words, find other people who are doing similar things, who have a similar subscriber base, similar viewership, reach out to them. And the way you can reach out to them is message them on YouTube. Um, if they have a, a email account on their YouTube about page, reach out and email them. Explain yourself. I mean, explain that you're looking for people to network with. You know, find people that are making, you know, similar amount of content as you. People who, if you were someone watching their channel, if they saw, you know, your channel and your videos, they would say, hey, that is similar enough to what I'm watching that I'm interested in watching that. That's, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So you need to reach out to those people because then you can add each other to your channel boxes. You might be able to do collaborations with those people, but that kind of thing will help you build up because before you know it, you have a little network of people that you know, you're know you sending traffic to. Because people that watch YouTube videos generally watch a lot of YouTube videos. They don't sit down and just watch one. They'll sit down and watch a bunch. So hopefully they'll be watching your friends and then yours, etc. Anyway. Uh, another quick question is how exactly do I advertise my videos? Um, this is one of those things that it takes time because it's a snowball effect. The bigger you get, the more publicity you, I guess, create. Send out? Yeah, send out. But um, if, if you're going to try and pursue YouTube, um, at least semi-professionally, you need to have a Twitter presence, you need to have a Facebook page, and uh, you need to be sending out updates at least fairly regularly to these people. And you also need to let people that you people know that these things exist. So those need to be linked on your YouTube accounts, etc. So it's 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 an interesting thing to to be honest. The the entire gist of the culture of YouTube, but it's um I don't know. Most importantly have fun with it. Just make sure you're having fun with it. As long as you're doing that, you're at least getting ha the the bigger half right. Anyway, uh, have a great day YouTube from Jeremy also known as Jeremy Techno on YouTube. Jeremy, thank you for the leather. Next up, we have a very short and sweet letter from Jennifer. It just says, Dear Stephen, please, I wish you a happy holiday and a happy new year. From Jennifer, aka Yuki Mizumo90. And included is a first edition Machamp back from the first set of Pokemon cards that came out, and then a base set two Venusaur. So not only do you have a piece of history, but you also have my favorite Pokemon. Sorry. And that, it was hollow? Yeah. Both of them are. Yeah. Cool. Actually, back in those days, um, there were different types of hollows. No, back oh. in those days, the rares were always were always. Well, I'm trying to watch myself. I think in the base set, all the rares are. No, wait, is it? <laughs> I think in the base set, every rare is hollow. But then in jungle, it could be either. What I'm trying to say is, I know for a fact there is no such thing as a non-holographic Machamp and a non-holographic okay. Venusaur. I don't know. My Pokemon knowledge is a little rusty. Either way, thank you, Jennifer. Next up, we have a letter from Jordan, who says, it's Jordan again, uh, also known as Cruised Blues on YouTube and elsewhere. And I recognize the name from work on the wiki, because I check into the wiki every once in a while, and when I saw your username at the top, I was like, you've been working on the wiki a lot. And I wanted to thank you personally for that. Uh, Merry belated Christmas and a happy belated New Year to both of you. First off, a question for Mal. Do you prefer to be called Mal or Mallory? I don't know. Is it kind of a 50-50? Yeah. I mean, we always have addressed you as Mao on mm -hmm. the channels, mm -hmm. both channels, just for all of time. But sometimes I call you Mallory. Yeah. But it's just kind of whatever. If you had to choose. I don't know. She really is 50-50. Uh, secondly, question for me. Um, I would highly recommend that you play through Telltale Games' The Walking Dead series. I have only recently played through the entirety of the series, but I've loved every minute of it. So it doesn't have to be an LP, but I think the game should be experienced firsthand. I've, I've heard so many good things about The Walking Dead series, I've just never played... I think I actually own it on Steam. Pretty sure I do, because Humble Bundles, man, oh. I, own, I own all the games. Uh, but I haven't actually played it. Lastly, this is a bit of a weird one. I came across something that might shed some light on the mysteriousness of Mr. Dyslexic Heartbearer. I came across a letter on my desk that had a sticky note attached to it reading, Please send to Stephen George. I think the letter speaks for itself. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. Keep up the good work and don't stress. From Jordan. And included is the so-called leather. Now, the leather's pretty long, but I've, 
I've marked down some of the highlights of the letter because it's brilliant and hilarious, so I'm gonna read the uh, a, a bit of it to you now. Was that done on the typewriter? It looks like it. Well, it's done in, it might have been, but it's Courier, and Courier okay. is the typewriter font. Hello, Mr. George. My name is Eric Strider, and I am the brother of your so-called Mr. Dyslexic Heart Bear. I want to dispel some of the mystery surrounding my brother's behavior and provide some insight into his past. His real name is Sam Strider. We were born to our parents, Bethy and Alex, in Whistler, British Columbia. As young pups, we were adopted by another family in the Dalles, Oregon. Uh, the separation affected both of us, really, but I think it was this that started his gradual descent into insanity. As a child, Sam's favorite show was Jacob Tutu, in which the title character says everything twice to be heard. He mimicked this until it became habitual. He would spend hours watching Care Bears, which probably explains his uncanny obsession with hearts and bears. He was also fond of Courage the Cowardly Dog. I believe that he acquired his violent tendencies from this show. Then, the day came when he simply left and did not return home. I assume that he roamed free for a while and somehow ended up at your house, likely seeking out the love that he never had from our parents. According to the letters you've been receiving, at some point in 2012 he left your home and has been moving around quite a bit since then. Last I heard, he was in Anchorage, Alaska. Finally, I should address his name. I discovered that his name, Mr. Dyslexic Heart Bear, is an anagram of our family's names. Sam, Alex, Bethy, Eric, and Strider. He is much more dangerous than he seems. I'm trying to track him down before he causes any more harm, but it's tough to do, me being a stuffed dog and all. Regards, Eric Strider. Eric and Jordan, thank you both, because that was, that was pretty fantastic. Next up, we have a series of letters that have all been sent to us from members of the Stephen Craft Minecraft fan server. If you're not familiar with that, there's going to be a series, I think, one or two vlogs on it very, very soon. Um, but we actually just released a video over on Steven Plays that talks about it. Basically, some fans got together and made a Minecraft fan server. And it's really cool. And there's a lot of people that have, um, you know, kind of populated the server. It's become pretty popular yeah. as of as of late. Um, but there's been people that have been on it since uh, as early as September. And they've met each other and stuff. And we got mail from them. I'll stop rambling and read the mail. Dear Stephen and Mal, my name is Megan from Portland, Oregon. I've been watching your videos for a while and thought it was about time to send a letter. I met Stephen at PAX Prime 2013 at the meetup, which was really cool and had a chance to talk to a whole bunch of awesome people there. I am currently a part of the staff on the Stephen Craft Fan Server where I've met a whole bunch of awesome friends who also enjoy your videos. I'd like to thank you guys for making my life much more awesome. Shout out to Chase, Bence, Thought, Benesti, Shane, Martz, Zelda, a lot of whom are sending letters, and everyone else on the server. Thank you, Server, Stephen, and Mal, for all being awesome. Hopefully talk to you both soon. From Megan. Um, we're going to be getting... There's a few other letters that are all from people on the server, and there's a lot of excitement, not only in the fact that the server is growing, but the fact that they've been able to have this place where they've been able to meet people, which is awesome that, you know, in some tiny, small way, I've, I'm a part of that. That just makes me feel really good. Anyway, Megan, thank you for the letter. We're going to move on to the next letter, Ooh, which is from Thought. Hello there, Thought Criminal here. I've been meaning to write to you for a long time. Usually I'm not able to successfully get people into the things I watch or the games I play, but during the few weeks that my cousin stayed over for Christmas break, I managed to get one hooked on Steven Vlog. I felt very accomplished afterwards, since as of writing this letter, she's now on day 174 of the journey. I am a huge fan of your LPs as well. My favorites are probably Mario Kart and Pokemon. A game that I've been playing recently is Hex's Force. Hexes? Hex hexes? I don't know. That's a weird that's a weird word with a lot oh, no. of it's XYZ. That's kinda neat. Anyway, for the PSP, you should try it sometime. It is a great RPG. Something I would like to clarify, Steven. Gatorade smoothies are amazingly tolerable. <laughs> I would like to thank you so, 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 so much for creating Steven Reddit, because without it, I would not have discovered Steven Craft. Without Steven Craft, I would not have met some of the most wonderful people uh, whom I now deem some of the greatest friends I have ever met. I'm going to end the letter here. I've been meaning to write for a while, and I'm happy to have finally been able to. I uh, hope you had a wonderfully Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Thought Criminal. Thought? Thank you very much. We're going to move on to the next letter. Which is from... Oh, also, this fell out. <laughs> Skitty! Skitty! Thank you! Okay. Oh, it's so cute. There's so many types of Skitties. Mm -hmm. I think Skitty's a popular Pokemon. 
cute. Next up, we have a letter from Gabe who says, Steven, I love to watch your videos because they always cheer me up when I am sad. Do you think you could let's play the Sly Cooper games? They have one, two, and three on a collection in HD for the PS3. Um, there's no current plans to play through the Sly Cooper series, but I did do a, I think a demo Friday on one of the titles. So you should look that up because I actually really enjoyed it. It was pretty fun. Um, a couple of questions for both you and Mal. Did you ever have a favorite book growing up? When I was really long, well, when I was really young, before when I, was I could really actually long. read, yeah. my favorite book was called Tosca's Surprise. Tosca's? Tosca. And it was Tosca. the name of a cat that was pregnant and went and had kittens like in the barn. And oh, her surprise was kittens? Yes. Oh, and, okay. And I couldn't actually read the book, but my parents read it to me so much that I could like pretend to read it. I had it memorized. Yeah. I actually did the same thing, which... Um, to be honest, probably one of my favorite books as a kid was uh, there's little like square books. It was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one that had a read along cassette tape. You'd put the cassette tape in and it'd read it to you. But it was it was actually better with the cassette tape because it had like the voices and stuff. Yeah. But I love that I love that book. I was a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan when I was a kid. Anyway, uh, what video game besides games from the Mother series are your favorites? Last of Us is now up there for me. Really enjoyed Last of Us. Um, for me, it's the Donkey Kong Country series, and it's I don't know. I'm I'm growing increasingly fond of it every year because we've been doing the games. Like it used to be, I really like one and two's okay, and now it's like I really like two and one and three is great, and I'm just excited because I'm probably going to really like Donkey Kong Country Returns even more when we finally do an LP of it. Anyway, uh, sincerely, Gabe and Gabe sends some fan art. It says, uh, Earthbound Destiny, why are you so hard to get uh, fight to save the Earth? And it's a picture of Ness with a Ramblin' Evil Mushroom and a runaway dog. A runaway dog. Very, very cool. And Gabe actually says uh, his brother is an admin on the Steven Craft server and his brother is Chase, who we, will, who we will be receiving a letter from in just a moment. Hi, Sagan. <laughs> Next up, we have a letter from Martin. Hey Stephen and Mao, it's Martin here, or as I'm more commonly known throughout the interwebs, Marts. Uh, I am a moderator of the Stephen Craft server, so excuse me while I include a spot of blatant self-advertising. <clears throat> Come see the magnificent, majestic, magical, official, unofficial Stephen Craft server. Come marvel at the museum and linger at LP Lane. Fight it out at the PvP arena. The town of paradise. Experience the rage maze. That is just a fraction of the creations you can experience on the Stephen Craft server. In all seriousness, no. In, in all seriousness, though, the server is an amazing place and all the staff are awesome. Now, I first found your videos through, actually, this is my recollection, uh, recollection of events from when I first found your videos. This is the abridged version, because it is much longer. I should not be awake at 3 o'clock in the morning watching Chugga Connor's videos. Hey, here's a video showing his face. Awesome. Wait, who is this guy talking into a camera? Oh, those chicken wings look amazing. Oh, more food. Hmm, huh, this guy seems to... Be a bit of a food fan? Oh, that was really funny. I wonder what his other videos are like. Hmm, his last video was released today. Goodbye, Columbia, huh? Huh, I'll give the crack. This guy is really, really tall. Well, now he's breaking into song. I like this guy. Now he's talking about fish. He must be a food fan. Anyway, after watching that vlog, I was hooked and have at this point watched almost all of your videos on both channels. It's funny because Goodbye, Columbia, I never really thought of that being someone's like introduction to the channel. But that must have been a wild ride. <laughs> like, the first one is like a song about our friend from Colombia who helped us move and how we rewarded him with fish. Man, bless your soul, March. Bless your soul. Uh, I've also included a list of subreddits with this letter as I am a huge fan of Reddit. Uh, P.S. Shout out to Chase for sending this letter for me. I'm a New Zealander, so if I sent one myself, it would probably take like half a year to get there. So thanks, Chase. And there's a huge subreddits list, but he marked that the best one is Photoshop Battles. Yes. She's a Redditor herself, so she, she knows what this is. What is it? Just like... People like using a picture and like out photoshopping each other with like ridiculous things. Oh, okay. Oh, that sounds like fun. That sounds like stuff we used to do on Starman way, way back in the day. <laughs> Steve, uh, who was just recently on the vlog, uh, he was a big time Photoshop guy and it was always interesting to see the and kind of- And then you would do ones too. Yeah, it was fun to see the stuff that he would come up with. Anyway, Marts, thank you very much. The last letter we have for today is from Chase and it says, greetings. 
My name is Chase, also known as KJ4LXC, and I am a longtime follower of the vlogs and the Stephen Place channel. I'm from a small town in upstate South Carolina called Wahala, about 15 minute drive from Clemson. I found you one day while searching for Earthbound. I loved what I saw, and needless to say, I stuck around. Not too long ago, I saw on your Twitter you posted about the Stephen Reddit. I loved it from the start and loved to communicate with others that shared the same interests that I did. Like others, in this mail session, I found the unofficial server. After playing on the server for for a while, I approached the owner of the server to ask if I could help. He made me a moderator, and after some talking and a lot of hard work, I now run the server so he doesn't have to. I am also the webmaster staff, or I'm also the webmaster forum owner and TeamSpeak server owner. I have so much fun working with my fellow staff and people that I now call some of my closest friends. You also helped me find common ground between my brother and I. He also loves to watch your videos and his letter should be with you by now too, which we read just a moment ago from Gabe. Uh, you have introduced me to some of my closest friends and allowed me to have fun doing what I do for a living because my job is to work with all kinds of servers. I do web design, hosting, and online services as well as full network engineering. But thank you for who you are and thank you to Mallory as well. Um, I have to get back to preparing for your visit. I have a couple more plugins to iron out before we are 100% ready. Have a good day, best, witch best wishes, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Chase, I think I'm having a hard time talking this mail video, but... Best witches. <laughs> <laughs> they live in the swamp. <laughs> best wizards, best witches. Uh, Chase, thank you very much for the letter. Um, I, I've had the pleasure of actually speaking with Chase um, on several occasions, and uh, like one of the things he was talking about at the end of the letter was preparing for the visit, which was the video that came out on Stephen Place the other day, the Stephen Craft fan server video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm gonna do my best. Remember to put it in the description of this video or somewhere on screen or something so you guys can go over there and see it because it's actually really, really cool. It's also grown immensely mm -hmm. since then. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's, it's just really cool to me to see not only is this coming together, which is giving fans a place to play Minecraft in a good environment with really good people and really great people running it, but it's also cool to see the friendships that are being formed because I see a lot of myself in that. Um, whenever I was younger, um, I grew up pretty much living on Starman.net and I made a lot of friends. And I, yeah, and you know, I, I made a lot of friends, I, I, people that haven't even been on the vlog that I knew back in the day, it got me interested in art, did a lot of stuff for me. Um, you know, I met Alex, I married Mao, and this is all stuff that came because of a relationship I had with people on the internet. So I know how incredibly valuable this kind of stuff is. So whenever I hear that people are making friends, um, you know, having these great friendships and relationships develop online, I'm like so for it because I see myself in that. So it's super awesome, super happy about it. I, I mean, I'm happy about the server just because it's awesome anyway, but the fact that, you know, there's this TeamSpeak server and people are talking and having a good time, it's just, that's great. I'm just super excited about it. Anyway, as one last funny story that Chase included, he says, fun fact, as a group, we all watch the Extra Life live stream and love the story of Susan and now affectionately call the server Susan. <laughs> <laughs> when I am in TeamSpeak and I yell, gosh dang it Susan, why won't you do what I tell you to? That causes some confusion and a lot of laughing and a little bit of explaining to those who do not know the story. It's the perfect name. It's pretty great. I love that. Anyway, Chase, uh, thank you so much for uh, writing in and having so many, so many other people write in and also um, Chase wrote in on other people's behalf. Like they sent him an email or whatever and said, will you send this? And Chase actually sent stuff. So we really do appreciate that. That is all of the letters. Now we move on to the packages. I did tell you it would be a pretty long mail video. Hello, Stephen Amell. I'm John, a 14 year old from British Columbia, Canada. I'm also known as Bidnesty on YouTube and Stephen Craft, of which I'm a staff member. As much as I'd like to tell you that I found your channel without Chugga, I was introduced to the vlog when I watched the Visiting Chugga Conroy vlogs. But after watching a few of those, I was hooked on the channel. I promised myself that I'd take the journey and I held myself to that promise. I finished the journey on the last day of my summer holiday and have been caught up ever since. I'm also a huge fan of your LPs with my favorites being Twilight Princess, Shadow of the Colossus, and Mario Kart. Have you ever considered doing an LP of Paper Mario for the N64. Actually, I've never played it. It's good. Paper Mario 1? I've watched someone play it. I mean, I know about it, and I have played the... I've played Thousand Year Door, 
I might have hundred percented that. But like I've played Thousand Year Door, I've played Super Paper Mario, but I've never played the original. I just missed it when it came out. I was busy doing other things or something. So I'd like to play it at some point. In any case, Stephen, I'd really like to thank you for introducing me to the Stephen Craft server. I was one of the first people to join. You indirectly introduced me to the players who became my fellow staff members and friends. In this package, I've included a gift that I made in my wood shop class at school. It's safe to eat off of because it's meant to be a cutting board. It can be used as a serving tray or just a display piece though. Anyway, take it easy and make sure you pet the Astronicats for me. I look forward to seeing you on the server. Yours truly, John. Well, thank you very much, John. And we have not actually taken a look at what is in here yet. But apparently we can eat off of it. Ho ho ho! What? Oh, cool. That is amazing! That is so freaking cool! It's a star man! Oh my god, that's awesome. Holy crap! That's that's really impressive. I never did wood shop. I uh, did. My school actually didn't have wood shop, but uh, any kind of woodworking to me is really cool because wood. This is technically like the technical side of it, like very difficult. Like really, really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Well, not only is is a lot of woodworking very difficult to do, but the end result always looks so classy. Mm -hmm. It looks so cool. And yeah, this is. I don't know. I would. I would feel like. I was disgracing the piece if I used it as a cutting board. I, this is like you can cut up some cheese and put it on there. That's true. We'll be though. those cheese people. It would be it, okay. I will give you that though. It would be pretty sweet to have company over and and serve them cheeses and crackers on a Starman tray. John, that is amazing. That is very. That cool. is so freaking sweet. And you are very good at, at woodworking. That is incredible. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Excellent job. Sorry, just, it's really cool. Next up we have a package from Kevin Chai, who is uh, a long time viewer, actually, I think he was watching the vlog like when it first started, came from Starman. Um, and most recently, I believe he sent us um, Game Boy camera picture prints, which is interesting, and I think it's been a while ago. Anyway, let's take a look here. And inside we have another one. So I, I, I didn't forget. Uh, hipstergbphotos.tumblr.com Hey, I'm Kevin Chai once again sending you a thing. For Mao, it's the best game on the 3DS, no joke. And for Steven, it's something that will bring back fond memories. Remember your inhaler, Ninten. <laughs> and it's from Kevin Chai. It says also, Merry Christmas, Happy December 25th. So, what is it that we have here? There is... Style savvy trendsetters. Create your own fashion dynasty. This sounds almost as fantastic <laughs> as Imagine Party Babies. <laughs> Imagine Party Babies. We don't have that. Isn't that for we? Yes. Oh, whenever that whenever that comes into the store, we gotta get that. That's amazing. It is in the store. I've been. Oh wait, really? I've been mocking it since it's been in the store. Oh really? We should pick it up and do a first twenty on it. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes. Oh my God, this Kevin! This looks fantastic. Kevin, excellent job. And then what do we have in here? Something that should bring back fond memories. <laughs> what is it? It's a signed Denny Walling card. <laughs> oh man, everyone that oh Kepler's in the frame. He really wants to play style savvy trendsetters. Everyone that is uh, taking the journey will know that there was uh, a period of several hundred days where people were sending in signed Denny Walling cards, or just Denny Walling cards, and we actually had a frame that we would put up on, you know, the wall. on the wall and, and put Denny Walling cards in it. So this is a blast from the past. Kevin, that is amazing. That is super fantastic. Excellent job. Next up, we have a package from Shayla. And inside of this package, we have a really sweet card right on the top. Aww. That is adorable. It says Merry Christmas and it's got Ness and a little Santa hat. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Inside it says Merry Christmas, Stephen and Mallory. Thank you so much for the Earthbound uh, Ustream and raising money for charity. It was a blast. Enjoy these ornaments for your tree from Shayla. Our tree's still up. And actually, our tree's still up. We probably should have taken it down by now, but okay, this is good timing then. Let's open this up. Oh man. Oh man. I can what? see. What? I can what? see a little bit through the paper of what we're what? looking at, and they're pretty what? sweet. What? Yeah. What? What? Oh, cool. It's awesome. 
Oh, it's awesome. God, it's so, what's so cool is that like one day, 10, 20 years from now, we'll have a tree, we might have children or whatever, and we're gonna, we'll have a full-size tree and we'll have earthbound ornaments and we'll be serving cheese to guests on a Starman tray. Like that kind of stuff, that gaming culture has been a part of our lives forever. And it always will be. Like it's just so ingrained in us. It's how we met. So it's one of those things that'll just never go away. That is so cool. That's not the only one. Kitty's in the frame, but Kitty's... Usually Kitty's sleep during these videos. But it's dinner time. It's dinner time and Kitty's are like, mm -mm. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna be in the video. We have Paula. I'm going in order here. Ouch, I put him in order. Well, I mean, I'm just pulling him out in order because I can see through the paper a teeny bit. Mr. And the Nuts. And we got our good friend. I put on my pinky. <laughs> Hang them. We got Poo, and there's another. It's our good friend, Mr. Saturn. I can't hold another one. Grow another arm, quick. Do it. No. Do it fast. Here we go. We'll hold those up. <laughs> love it. I love it. Shayla, those are amazing. Those are so cool. Perler beads are really neat, but actually just take it a step further and then think outside the box and say, wait, put a ribbon on these Christmas ornaments. I just, I love it. I love it. And your card is so creative too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so, gosh, this is one of the best mail videos ever. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. Next up, we have two packages from BestBuy.com, and um, I've actually been in correspondence with Stephanie over email, uh, who sent me, you know, the information. She said that she was sending these packages. Uh, she's known as Christina Aurelia on YouTube, and she sent me this little email that I'm going to read to you guys as her letter. Uh, this is my way of thanking both you and Mallory for all the hard work you do. I really enjoy all of your videos. I want to wish you, Mallory, the kitties, and both of your families a wonderful Christmas and a fantastic new year from Stephanie. P.S. I hope that you find the health answers you are looking for and that everything is alright and that Mal does fantastic on her praxis. Did we show that on the vlog? I don't think we did. We probably did. Maybe I'm not just there in editing yet. Maybe. But if we don't, Mal passed it. I like 20 points. It was close, but Mal did it. And you you should have had more faith in yourself. You did good. I didn't know one of the questions, like any of the questions. I felt like I didn't know any of the answers. Well, to be fair, I felt like that whenever I took my um, my Final Cut Pro certification. Like, I, I got there and I was like, some of the questions were like, what? But, you know, I guess I subconsciously knew it and I did well. So you did the same thing. Anyway, um, so we've got two things here. First is a little, uh, is a smaller package. Inside of this is uh, Nina Cooney. Oh. Nina, thank you very much. This is actually a game that Mal's been interested in playing for a long time. Um, and, uh, you know, whenever it came out, there was a huge buzz about the game. A lot of people were talking about it. Um, it kind of uh, equated it with Pokemon in a sense, where you, you capture, I don't know, I don't know what the, the mechanics of the game is, but you like, have other monsters that like fight for you and people really really enjoyed it and apparently it's done really well because this is a greatest hits version which means it's sold I believe like a certain number of copies which is awesome thank you very much and then in addition to this actually there is another package big old big box and I don't know what's in here it looks like oh wow that's a huge box <laughs> That's a really big box. I don't know why that was such a, a big box for this thing, but it is the Nino Kuni guide, which wow. has all of, I mean, it's a player's guide, but it's also, is it just a player's guide? The game must be huge. That's um, crazy. It also includes the DLC too. Yeah. That's a really nice guide. Um, as someone who collects player's guides, I'm really excited at the fact that a lot of companies are, are continuing to do player's guides, but not just doing them, doing them legit, well. <laughs> doing them well. A lot of hardcover guides have come out, and I'm really excited about that. Because this just looks nice, and this is huge. That's awesome. That is so cool. Stephanie, thank you thank so you. much. That's awesome. Not only sending the game, but also sending the uh, the beautiful guide, which... I mean, even before we start playing it, we'll be able to look through because that's just, it's really cool. Where's the game? I wanna hold them up together. There we go. 
Thank you. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have a package from Joel. Uh, it's it's been a while since we had a package from Joel. I, I can't actually remember the last thing. Last of Us? Was it? Yeah, that was it. That was it. Joel sent The Last of Us and he didn't know that we were planning on buying it. We had actually bought it and uh, we ended up sending out the copy he gave to um, Pikachu AT because uh, we had a little contest at the end of The uh, Last of Us and we sent it out to a fan. So someone actually did get to enjoy that. Um, so it's hard to tell what's in here. But. Folder, as always. There's usually a folder. Whoa, okay. I don't want to spoil myself, but there's a bunch of stuff in the bottom of this Look box. Up. Okay, looking up. Let's see here. But I have a feeling I know what this is. Stephen Amau just wanted to say Merry Christmas by sending you some games and a movie that I figured you would enjoy from Joel. It's a picture of Pikmin 3. You want the thing on top? Sure. Give me the thing on top. Nine. It's a Blu-ray of nine from producers Tim Burton and Timur Bekmambetov, which I'm very bad at pronouncing. A stunningly original animated masterpiece. I remember hearing about this film, but it f I feel very much like it wasn't covered very much or something. Like it didn't get a whole lot of... Uh, I think it started to, but it died out like the press for it. There was an, uh, the other movie that, I, that this reminds me of in the sense of like, it became a popular movie, but it didn't... They didn't talk about it a whole lot when it came out. Was uh, AI? Yes. You remember AI with the kid that was in Sixth Sense? Mm -hmm. Was he? That was in. He was in AI, I don't know right? If that was him. I don't know. Maybe I'm forgetting. Right? But anyway, that's a movie that was actually a, apparently a pretty good film, but no one had heard of. Nine. Cool. Thank you very much. We're watching movies this year, and we will definitely see it. Um, we we have gotten through Ratatouille and Wally. -E because uh, Joel has actually sent us some other films, but we still have to get through the Toy Story trilogy and Cars, which we will do this year, because we're making our way through movies, oh. which is exciting. All right, what else is in there? A Wii copy of Pikmin 2, which is pretty sweet. I do not have this. I do have the GameCube copy of Pikmin 2, but I don't have the Wii version, and the Wii version is motion controls, which is pretty sweet. Excellent, thank you. Pikmin 2 is also a pretty good game. A lot I'm of interested have, in playing. A lot of people haven't after played it. we watched some of the Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3 stuff with a male. Yeah, because we just recently played Pikmin 3 for the first time, and that was the first time you've ever really played Pikmin, isn't it? I didn't play it. You didn't play it all? Uh uh. I've never played a Pikmin game. <laughs> You'll play soon. Yeah, What's we next? have two. And we have three. Pikmin 3. Joel. Thank you. I appreciate this. And it's actually coming at a pretty good time because we just played this for the first time ever with a meal, you know, a week or two ago. And it's a good game. I mean, it's a good game. I got to see a little bit of the story mode, but we played a lot of the bingo battle. And it's just a really, really good title. Um, and I had heard that it was good and the reviews that came in were good. But uh, I hadn't had a chance to pick it up for myself. Thank you. Is there other stuff? There's more. Oh, okay. There's other stuff. There's in this. Assassin's Creed 3 for Wii U. That takes care of Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> we're going through the Assassin's Creed line. We've done the first game. We're going to be doing the second game probably in the next few months on Steven Plays. Now we have the third game. Excellent for a next-gen system. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> is there others? Yes, there's something else. Okay, and the other thing is... Player's Guide. Excellent. I really, That's it. <laughs> I really like the art for... The game. It's on the front of the game too, isn't it? Yeah. Where it's just the three Pikmin, because it's like the symbolism of you know Pikmin 3. That was the, at PAX with the had number. On yeah, the I remember. Yeah. My frolicking picture. Your frolicking picture. Awesome. You want to hold that up? Try to hold all this stuff up. Joel, thank you. Uh, jo Joel's packages are, I guess they have kind of like a in a sense like a legendary status. <laughs> like whenever Joel sends something, everyone's like, oh, I wonder what Joel sent. We wonder what Joel sent. And uh, we've actually had that package in there for a while now because it's been a while since we got to this mail video. So we've been excited to open it and- December 3rd. It, yeah, it's, like I said, it's it's been almost two months, um, but I appreciate this, this is excellent. And you need to play through Pikmin. Do I need to play one? Um, it would explain some of the basic concepts, and also it's not a very long game. The first game's not like super long, but they're all really fun. 
Um, there's some, some of the missions in the single player of Pikmin 2, like near the end, like people have, have you know, differing opinions on. But uh, there's also like some co-op stuff in Pikmin 2, which is pretty neat. Okay. And Pikmin 3, which is great. So, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Anyway, to everyone who sent something in, thank you guys so much. This was an amazing, really an extension of Christmas. I mean, people sent this during the month of December. We're only getting around to it now, but a lot of people sent them as Christmas gifts. They sent really heartfelt letters, heartfelt Christmas cards, um, amazing gifts, and we just really appreciate it. I mean, you guys... You guys are really awesome. And for all of the people that joined together from the Minecraft server and sent all of the amazing things they did, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Um, it seems like our mail videos kind of, they have a tendency that we'll have a, like a, a one that has a lot of stuff and then one that doesn't have much. I think it's because we are a little delayed on releasing videos. Mm -hmm. So when we release one, in the month that we release it, people are like, oh yeah, mail. And then they send stuff to mail and then we are behind so then nothing gets, we don't have anything posted and then people kind of forget about it. I think that's kind of how it works. I'm learning... It's like the rubber band effect from Chaotix. <sighs> don't make me think of Chaotix. I don't want to remember Knuckles Chaotix. Anyway, thank you all again. Um, if you are watching right now and you'd like to send us something, you can go over to the Stephen Vlog channel page, uh, click the About tab, and the address is there. Send us whatever you'd like, and we will open it here. And we will see you guys next month for more Stephen Mail. Hopefully not as delayed. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>